okay in this video we will talk about the rest command in splunk okay so rest command is basically used to access a splunk rest api endpoint and and get the data right now using the rest command we, we are basically accessing the rest api through spl so there could be a lot of use cases right suppose you want to know what does what are the different safe searches you defined or what are the different indexes you have in your in your splunk deployment right or if you if you want to know what are the current scheduled safe searches those stuff like whatever stuff you can do from the splunk ui web ui you can access all those informations using a rest api as well so if you remember the splunk rest api introduction video i'll be giving a video link over here as well so you will you will get an idea like what what is splunk rest api and how it's defined right so today we'll see a couple of examples of the rest rest command and we'll see how to use it as well over here okay now at its very basic use case so this is how we can use it so before that maybe this is important to know right so there, so there is a splunk documentation link which i'll be providing in my video description as well over there you can find all the different endpoints we have it in splunk okay so so we'll be working on this search endpoint today so as it is easier to explain that's why i'm choosing it but you can try to use any other endpoints we have we have it over here as well okay now over here if you see this is the endpoint which basically list out the different safe searches you defined over here now the rest command is basically used for read only but that means getting the data you cannot post something using rest command so that's the one limitations of the rest command we need to understand so you cannot do any kind of post delete operation over here only the rest uh, only the get operation over here okay now how to use that one if you see and if you remember from the introduction video of the splunk rest api this is how a typical rest endpoint looks like right https then host then the port number so this is basically the splunk management port 8089 by default right then the endpoint url over here right so when we will be using the rest command we just need to use this this url only you do not need to provide any any of the host and port number it will be automatically covered over there and in rest command so there are certain options to give the splunk host name as well for the distributed scenario which i'll i'll explain it a bit as well okay so let's let's try to see an example of this endpoints so i'll just write rest then the endpoint name right so and if you just run it so it will give you the safe searches defined for this but now here one thing we have to understand is even the same stuff i discussed in my video as well so there are two ways you can access the endpoint right using these services then then the endpoint name or we can use the services ns then over there you can give the app and user context as well right now as i have not used the services ns so this is only giving me the rest the, the the safe searches defined for my search and reporting app because here we are not giving any any app and user context right so it is it will only default it will by default only take the app from where you are basically running this rest rest command over here now if you see the details it is providing you it is providing you all the details like what is the different alert actions right you have taken and if you just go at the last of this data so what are the search you have defined it basically right what is the schedule priority schedule window which splunk server what is the name of the search when it is last updated those all those informations and and the qualified search is basically the actual search string which is basically running on that on that particular save searches or alert over here right so it's it's providing you all the different informations over here right and also it provides you an information over how to access that particular search endpoint or basically that particular search directly over here right and if you see it like it has given a services ns url right over there here the user context which is basically is the nobody over here then the app context then the 
endpoint name and the particular save search name over here right so so this is how by default it it works over there now rest command also accepts certain inputs over here let us discuss that one so one of the input is count so th so this one is used to basically filter or basically get the desired number of rows you want from from this from this search command okay so let's say if i just give count equals to two right so here previously it was giving me six save searches right so whenever i will be giving count equals to two it will only give you the first uh, two save searches the first two results of the save searches okay now now it also accepts another input over here this requires specifically when you are in distributed mode right so when you have splunk cluster so f over there if you want to basically return the rest endpoint results from a specific server you can give a splunk server as well okay and here you can give a single server name but you can use a wild carded string as well that means if you have server names with similar server names you can you can use some regular expression to return the result from different more than one server as well but typically you can give a single single server name over here so for for local maybe i'll just show you over here so for local you, can, you just want to give the server name as local so as i am working on my local host so it, it doesn't by default it will only take the single server name over here as well but just to show you like how you can pass a server name you can you can pass it something like this one or if you have let's say server names which which if you have similar server names let's say foo you can give a foo star as well so whatever server names are matching with this particular regular expression it will return the this this safe searches name from those those servers only over here okay even here you can give a splunk server group as well so in splunk server group we define more than more than one server right so you can give that group name as well so that whatever the servers are there under that group it will be returning for those servers only okay even you can give a timeout as well so timeout means let's say if i just give a timeout as some number right timeout let's say 60 seconds or something so if the search is this particular command is not returning any data within that timeout it will just return some kind of error or something it will not return anything over there right and if you want to have like infinite timeout you can give a zero over here as well okay now now let us let us try to see what will happen when we'll give services ns right services ns then we have to give the user context i'll give for all users and i'll give for all the apps we have in our splunk enterprise right so if i access this particular endpoint if you you will see like it will it will return lot of searches over here for all the different different apps we have it in our splunk right if you see it is currently giving me 68 searches over here right with with the with the similar with the similar kind of details like what is their search string everything what is the search string they have defined what is the name of that name of the search title when this last updated everything is the similar information it will give but the number of searches the number of results it will be different because over here we are basically using the services ns endpoint to access for all the different users and apps now here you can give the user context as well right so that if you want to get the searches for a particular user you can give that one even if you want to get the search is defined for a particular app you can you can get that as well now now the app name if you if we just wanted to show you the the app name field over here i'll just say star app so this is the app name over here and if you see it over here it is not only it is giving it is giving result for my search app it is also giving me result for all the different apps over here as well now now if i just go back if i just go back over here now if i if i just wanted to access the endpoint for a particular search you as i show you before 
it has a id over here right so you can you can do this one as well so if i just copy this guy over here so this is the search name and if you see it like this is url encoded right so if i just go right side a bit so this is the name of the search right dmc alert abnormal state of indexer processor right so i can give something like this one url encoded value of that search name so then you are basically accessing the for that particular search level details as well so this is also possible just like uh, just like we access the splunk rest endpoint for a particular search right so this is the way to do it with the rest command as well okay now there is there is another one i wanted to show you over here for let me go back to this rest endpoint details okay now if you see this saved searches endpoint right and if i just expand this this get one it is saying there is a pagination and filter parameters can be used with this method as well right so let me open that in a new tab now if you see with this endpoint you can also pass this this values this this basically key value pairs as a query parameter as well right so so when you basically access this endpoint from from your python code or somewhere now the same stuff can you can do with this rest command as well okay so for that what i'll do is i'll just first go to this save searches so currently i am accessing this saved searches endpoint using the services ns that means for all the apps and all the users i am listing it out now let's say i want to i want to let me let me go back over here okay now if you see it over here there are there are a lot of query parameters you can pass it like count f offset search sort directory sort key sort mode and summarize right let me give you a couple of examples over here now let's say i just wanted to now if now if i just show you over here it is returning a lot of fields over here right now if i just know what field i am looking for i can pass this field name over here if i just go over here as f okay now let's say i just wanted to have a qualified search as i show you before qualified search string is the actual search that the, you know, when we create a save search right we need to give a search string right so qualified search string holds that search value right so if i just give something like this one f equals to qualified search so what will happen now this time it will give you lesser information okay it will mainly give you the qualified search except that you will give it will give you the id of that particular save search who is the author and then it will give you the splunk server where it is defined the title and and the last updated those information that means very less information it will give when you do something like this one right now here you can pass a multiple if you want to have multiple column names what you have to do you have to basically pass multiple if values over here right so if i just go over here let's say i want to have whether the search is visible or not so i'll just copy this one i'll come over here and i'll paste it this one so this in this case it will mainly give you two columns is visible and qualified search apart from other main details which is required to identify what is the id of the search and name or when is last updated those information will be always written always returned over here but the number of columns number of data it will it will fetch is very less right similarly if i just go over here you can you can search as well something okay let's say i want to have a i want to if 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 you see it over here this is returning for for different apps right so if i if i just again table my apps name star app okay this is returning for all the apps right so if i just wanted to filter out the rest the the save search is defined for this particular app only what i can do is i can do something like search okay then i will give i'll just paste this one now what is my field name my field name is ai colon acl dot app right so i'll just say ai colon acl dot app equals to this guy okay so what will happen now it will only fetch 
the save searches defined for this app okay now i will keep this one so that we will verify it whether it is working or not if you see it now it is only returning this particular app level details app level save search details over here okay so this type of things also you can do even like you can always filter it after running the rest command over here as well by using the where command right but when you will be doing it the rest command itself will handle handle that filtering part over here okay so you do not need to write the where command specifically over here similarly if i if i just go over here some other important stuff is like you can do a sorting as well right so few minutes back we we ran a command call with an input called uh, count right where we have given the count equals to 2 right so by default what will happen when we give count equals to 2 the search result take a splunk splunk what will do first from all the search result it will just give the first two rows over here right which is non-deterministic so if you just want to have more control over it you can use this you can use this sort level details right so you can say sort direction it will be either asc or dsc right so something like this one sort direction equals to asc okay now if I just go over here, sort key, the field name over here, if you want to use this one, sort key equals to, let's say I'll just give my, this this field name only, EAI colon ACL dot apps, that's my, I am just sorting out from my app and in ascending order, okay, and you can give a sort mode as well over here either it's it's a automatically or auto auto sort mode that means if all the fields which are having a numeric value call it numerically and otherwise it call it alphabetically which is by default mode as well over here otherwise if you can give like alpha or alpha case case sensitive uh, way of alphabetical ordering also you can give and you can sort by numerically as well over here okay so i'll just keep the auto auto mode so that that that's a better one okay and if an, even you do not want want to give this one as well if you want to specify auto because this is the default one i just kept it because i just wanted to show you this one so this is also possible over here okay if you see it now it is returning all the all the s different apps in together right so that means in sorted order over here okay so this type of stuff you can you can do it over here and and this this rest command not only works for this one as i said it, it it will work for any any of the url any of the rest endpoint defined over here which supports a get option over there okay i suggest you try it out something and then then see how how it works over here so so keeping this link will be handy because even whenever you need something you you can just search over here and try to see how 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 the rest command is returning data over here okay so hopefully this video is helpful see you in next video